Good morning. It's Monday morning. So, no vlogging this weekend because basically I have a huge canker sore right here. I like can't move my mouth barely. I never had one before. I don't think it's like really painful. So, I think it's from when I got my implant put in. I think because of all the stretching and tugging and pulling, I didn't notice that a canker sore was forming. I don't even know. Can you prevent canker sores? Anyway, it's like, can't talk or move my mouth without it being like this intense sharp pain. I don't even know. Can you do anything for it? I didn't take any pain meds for it because it I don't really think it's going to do anything. I must have not looked that great. You know how like when you're at a store and people are like, you know, do you need any help? Are you finding everything okay? I was like looking at macaroni and cheese, oh my god, for like 500 years and this man's watching me, he's like, are you okay? And I'm like, oh my god, why do I look like that you're asking me if I'm okay? Maybe I was like wincing, I don't know. <laughs> mm. Do you want to do a mini haul? Let's do a mini haul. I got Ambisol, let's see how that goes. Um, these are so good, Sweet Tarts Ropes, strawberry version. All right, from the bakery, we have mini lemon bites. I mean, we'll see. And then, I told you guys I was gonna get the carrot cake sandwich cookies. So, yum. I've been craving bagels lately. I got those pumpkin bagels from Trader Joe's and they were very okay, like very okay, like whatever. So I was like, I wanna have a good bagel. If you guys have bagel recommendations, let me know. But Walmart does these double cheese please with Asiago and cheddar. So delicious looking and a French toast flavor. I mean, yum. If, I mean, if they are that good. And I've been kind of wanting to make quesadillas. I have like so much spinach and stuff. So I got these flat out sweet Hawaiian flatbreads. They're like folded and you can just like make a sandwich thing. I'm kind of excited. If you guys have any recommendations for bagels and tortillas, let me know. We have the Veggie Made Pasta. Again, they came out with like a spaghetti version. So I'm kind of excited for that. I mean, it might not be as filling. I might actually just want to go back to like the rotini ones. And this was, who knows what was going on in my head when I was thinking about this. So I was looking at their mac and cheese and you know, Velveeta is just like, shells are delicious, right? But then I saw these Walmart brand and they had the big boxes, but I decided to go for these smaller ones. So they're like little microwave containers and we have smoked Gouda and white cheddar and black pepper. I'm like, I got two of each just to try them out because they were like a dollar. And then we have the on the border Monterey Jack queso. And then I saw the Walmart version, queso blanco. So we'll see. We shall see, because this stuff is so good. Good morning. I've just stepped into the car and realized it's cold. <laughs> and I might be no key. Shit. Really? Sumo, where's the key? Shit. How did we get home yesterday, Sumo? Hmm. All right. Crap. Huh. Okay, you stay here. This is kind of stressful, Suma. Where's the key, baby? Um, okay, well, I went and I changed jackets. Well, I grabbed another one. This one is by Marilyn and Me, and it was 30 bucks off of, not off of, I got it at Burlington. It's like sweatshirt, we'll do an OOTD or something tomorrow. Okay, Suma. Shit, where's the key? Oh no. Okay, found it. All right, so you're like, why are your keys separated? Well, I think a lot of people do this, right? You separate your keys when you go to the gym, you can just like take this with you, right? But 
think also for work, I often go and pick up and drop off things. So I tend to like leave everything in the car and I just take this with me, right? And I left it in my jacket. <sighs> yes, yesterday, I can't even get into it. Basically long errand. It might have been fruitless to drive all the way out there. <sighs> okay. All right. We're ready to go. Thank you. You gonna get this jacket all dirty? <sighs> okay, so did we do groceries yet? We did. Let me update you on some of the items. The flatbread. So good. I made like spinach, kind of like quesadillas. I used just a tiny bit of cheese to um, like make the spinach stay and then I dipped it in the um, like I made the quesadilla thing and then I dipped it in the Walmart queso which is actually quite good it's just it's a little spicier than the on the border the on the border is just kind of this like rich creamy with like a hint of like spice as in like flavor and then the Walmart one is like it has like a I mean I guess I'd still call it mild but yeah, so that was good. I tried the cheese bagel and that was, it was just like cheese crusted on top. Also, it didn't really taste like bagel. It tasted more like bread. So it was kind of like, you know, and I haven't tried the French toast bagel yet. I'll probably try it today. Hi, honey. Hi, how are you doing? I feel so cute. Okay. So today is kind of a large package day. So I thought I'd share it with you. The Macy's 10 Days of Glam. I think this was something that was on the promotion, on the promotion, is on sale throughout the whole thing. So I'll link these because these should still be on sale. I think they're like 15. So I love the By Terry, both versions of their, uh, what do you call it, shadow sticks. But lately I found that the cargo ones are excellent as well as the ones from Julep. Um, they were both on sale for me to get them. I think the jewel ones I got for like 11 and these were 15. So I have, there we go. So I'll have to let you know if these are good or not. These are on sale for 15. This brush from Smashbox is amazing. All their Smashbox brushes were 50% off one day. I have two of these already. It's like the most perfect foundation brush, contour brush, blush, anything cream applies so good with this. So I had one when they did 15% off off of Macy's and then I think I found one on eBay for around 20. And then of course at half off, these were like 60, they were really good price. So I got two more of those. And then this is the concealer version of the same thing. So of course, fairly excited for this one too. Those were all half off. And it came with this really fun bag. Usually it's not, you know, whatever, but this free gift I'll totally use. And it's not like like, it's not a piece of shiny paper inside, like the whole thing is actually holographic. And then, I don't know, who cares about those? Okay, so the Nordstrom tunics from Lush that I wear every day, pretty much. The red, there's two versions of red. There's like an oxblood, and then there's this red, which is a bright red. I have both, so these. Um, this one is called Mahogany Rose. There's also a shade called Dust Rose, which is just slightly lighter and brighter. And I think I like that one better. And finally, a green one. I guess they're calling it Crocodile. These are on the site too. So I check the site maybe every week to see if there's different colors since I wear these shirts so often. Also, they're usually on sale for $27.90. If they're still on sale, I mean, I'll link them regardless, but they were dropped $24.90, which is even more excellent. Lastly, a ColourPop haul. Um, I think there was a code. Oh, if you guys follow Angela Mary Tanner on Instagram, she does amazing reviews and swatches and she has a blog, but they gave her a code. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll use her code. <laughs> so I got the Good Sport palette, which excited, and then the Ooh La La. And I didn't realize this, but you know, ColourPop finally came out with their own sharpeners. And if you've ever bought any of their lip pencils, which are amazing and last all day and leave a stain, they are a plastic pencil, so it's kind of hard to sharpen. So I'm kind of excited that they came out with their own sharpener. And then lastly is just this, I had to get like free shipping, right? So this is a shadow in deep dive. So we'll see. I mean, it can't be bad. 
Okay, so next morning, I wanna share some fashion-y things with you. Oh, this is not fashion. These are just like, you know, every winter you gotta get a pair. So these are by Muckluck, and I got them at Burlington for very cheap. Where is it? $6.99, so I'm really excited. I mean, I know that this is like a brand brand, but I didn't realize they could get discounted this cheaply, so I'm pretty excited. And these are from TJ Maxx. They're leather gloves. Are they faux leather? Um, no. Yes, no, they're not faux leather. They're real leather and they have a cashmere lining. They're so insanely warm. They're by Adrian Vitadini. I think that's how you pronounce it. And 30 bucks, like that's an insane price, right? Um, I got a small, but there's like a little thingy here, but so nice. Next, so I this is horrible lighting. Yesterday, I should have done this because there was such amazing light in the morning. It's like 7.30 right now. So this is the tunic I'm talking about. I wear this every day of every week, pretty much. I might change out the color. I might change out this shirt every so often, but four out of five days of the week going to work, I'm probably wearing some version of this shirt. This is the black one. This is a small. Um, I do have extra smalls also. But I just felt like, you know, being a little more drapey today. The leggings are Spanx, the faux leather. I would recommend them. Uh, I just would never get them full price. I've never gotten them full price. I've always tried to get like a 20% off deal or, you know, sometimes Nordstrom will do a promo. But I just, this is like the best top ever. I have a sports bra on, so obviously it can go much, it's much deeper. So that's why I love this shirt. You can like wear it to work. You could wear it like to like a more professional vibe if you like tuck it in. Um, you can wear a, like a really massive push-up bra and it can be like, you know, tits out day. Yes, I wanted to show you the jib of it. There's like a, you know, this kind of a collar. It's just like the most comfortable shirt and it just, you can eat in it, <laughs> everything. All right, next. Okay, hopefully this lighting is better. This is also from TJ Maxx. It's by the brand Modena or Modena. I will see if I can find it on the website, but it's a capelet. But it's so cute. Okay, I feel like me holding the camera is ruining the vibe, but there's like these faux buttons on either side. How can I do this? How can I show it to you without showing it to you in a weird way? I don't know. The drape is fantastic. You have like this straight across neckline. I just love it. It just basically looks super bouge, right? So it was about 30 bucks and it'll go fantastic with those gloves. All right, last but not least is this fuzzy coat. It's from Forever 21. I've wanted a fuzzy coat for like three years, but I can never find one that doesn't make me look huge. Like it makes me look huge like only in the shoulders or it's like very like full down here. This one I feel like gives a very even amount of poof all the way around. Isn't it fantastic? I love it. And it has a hood, fantastic hood. I mean, how much cuter can this get? Not much cuter, I love it. Okay, so super cute, love it. It doesn't have any kind of like zip or button, so you're just kind of like left to kind of let it be. And you have pockets on either side, and it was 40 bucks. I got it with like a 20% off code. They also have one in like a lavender-y shade. I love it. I mean, I tried this on in store before I went and purchased it online, which is what I always do. So, <sighs> so happy about this. Um, oh, and have I shared anything else with you? Yes, the boots are by Sorrel, which I showed you in the last vlog. Um, and they have wedges and they're super fantastic and comfortable. So am I gonna wear either of these outerwear things t today? Probably not, because I know what my day is like. And <sighs> sometimes you don't wanna, this is a very specific thing. You can't just go around with your like floofy coat. And then sometimes a capelet isn't like super, because that also screams like, it has a bit of condescension to it, don't you think? So let's see what we're actually gonna wear today. Okay, we've settled on this coat. You guys remember, it's from Target. Sweatshirt material on the outside, kind of a fleece on the inside. And I don't know, I'm sure they're gonna bring it back. I mean, I don't wanna say that, but they'll probably bring it back again for this winter. They always do it in like a black, a this, and a houndstooth. Also, they have the houndstooth one at Burlington. I saw it, it was like $20, black and white houndstooth, like a larger print. But 
I got it and it looks super cute, but it was super itchy. Like it was kind of had that like woven wool feel to it. So I couldn't, that was not for me. Like, so I still have this one. I don't know if I have, did I buy a backup of this? I tend to buy backups of coats. So, I mean, that's what it looks closed up. Do we want to see it opened? I mean, opened is always cute and fun too. There's like a fun drape to it. And you can't beat this hood. This hood is like the most amazing thing. You can just like, and however you- ah, ah! Sumo! That's what you get! Yeah, I'll wait. <laughs> however you hold this hood, it like it tends to keep its shape. So it's like really great that way.